Hello everyone, welcome to Dancing with Bella. So I had a comment from several of you guys and I'm honestly trying to get to each one of you guys little by little, but I'm not forgetting about you guys. So if I haven't done a video of a video that you guys have suggested um, and that I said I was gonna do, just be patient with me. I'm really trying to get to each one of you guys. But I also, like I said, wanna incorporate other videos within my blog, so. I hope you guys are really enjoying my videos. I've been getting a lot of support from you guys. Like I said, I didn't know I was gonna get this type of support and I'm really, really grateful for you guys. Um, so I had a comment from someone and I'm gonna keep um, the names anonymous from now on. I don't wanna put anyone on blast, but I'm sure you guys can find their comments throughout my videos and whatnot. So someone mentioned, I've been out of the stripping game for a while and need to return because of financial reasons. My family is very religious and it's hard for me to cope with the choice and stay committed without feeling guilty. I know going back for a few years will give me the means to build a better life and get out of debt as well as have an easier schedule. My question is, how do I put aside the biased thoughts of others as well as my own guilt other over the choice? <laughs> well, that's a great question. Honestly, I'm in the same situation. I come from a mother who is very religious. Um, my dad isn't that religious, but my mom takes it very seriously. And honestly, I feel like if she found out that I was stripping, it would just break her heart and it would just tear her apart. Um, my mom, my mom, my dad don't know that I'm stripping. My sister knows. I think. <laughs> I mean, she knows I have a YouTube and I'm sure she knows I'm stripping. I post on Snapchat and she's on my Snapchat. So, um, which I feel like she's very open to it. But I mean, like I said, um, to each his own. So basically, the way, I'm not gonna tell you what to do because honestly, I'm nobody to tell whoever what to do. Like I said, my videos are basically part of what I'm going through, my stories, my experiences and whatnot. So basically what I do to cope with everyone's thoughts, um, I guess biased thoughts, is basically by not making it a priority, if you know what I mean. Um, it's just hard to live life trying to please everybody. I guess if... Um, if we were trying to please everybody, we would never be happy. And that's what everyone strives for is happiness. So honestly, I feel like regardless of how we grew up or what beliefs our parents have, we don't have to agree with them. Um, there's so many, there's so many things that everyone judges because they don't understand. They don't, they haven't been in that situation to know what it is to be in that position. Um, um, so really like everyone has different mentalities and I understand completely where the parents are kind of worried or focused on the wrong idea of what we're doing. And honestly, being a stripper does not define who we are. So honestly, it's just like any other job, except we're doing something different to, um, to make our living, I guess you could say. It is not who we are, it's just a job. So all I all I can tell you is pretty much just based on what I've been through is just pretty much either listening to what they have to say and be unhappy and um, lose out on opportunities, I guess you could say. Or I could, I could kind of like, I don't know how to explain it guys and this is a really serious conversation just because I know that we're not the only ones who are going through this I mean everyone tries to hide that they're strippers just because society does not kind of let us spit in I guess you could say but in all honesty stripping stripping is not that bad I mean <sighs> Everyone calls us hoes, sluts, all prostitutes, all this. But in reality, they have not been in that situation. They're just basically calling us all those things because society has put us in that bubble. And um, 
I'm going to tell you guys a quick story. When I first started stripping, um, I was 18 or 19. I, I know I tell everybody 18 or 19. I really can't remember. Like I said, I was waitressing at the strip club before I even started stripping. So everything kind of runs together in my head. But um, the first day I decided to strip, I was... I was kind of happy that I was doing it, but I mean, like anything else, like I started drinking and I started coming into my senses. I'm like, shit, you know, like my parents are going to kill me if they found, if they find out, um, or they're going to judge me or they're going to kind of disown me or, or whatnot. But, um, anyways, there was a group of customers sitting within themselves, drinking beer and talking and whatnot. So I spotted them out and I went to go conversate with them. There was, I think, two other girls sitting in that same group, um, strippers, <laughs> I guess you could say, that were sitting there and conversating with, with the men. Um, so I went and made room for myself and I sat down and just drank a beer with them and we were all talking. But behind my head, I had like the worst resentment of what I was doing. Like the voices of my parents and everybody were going through my head. And then this guy I was sitting with, he was about 50 years old, you know, I'm like 40, 50 years old. I'm like, this could be my dad right here. And I'm sitting with this guy giving him a dance or he might have a daughter that's my age or whatnot. I mean, like, and inside I just felt gross and nasty and all that, you know, but in reality, I mean, I let all those little voices make my decision where I just broke down and started crying and crying. So um, then the girls came and they started hugging me and talking to me and they, they started, you know, kind of like giving me their, their experiences when they first started stripping and they had the same mentality like, oh my God, I'm just doing the worst thing. But you know what? I got over it. Like I went home, counted my money. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I can make this much money, let me do it again. So, um, really, we all have those biased thoughts. And like I said, it's either do you want to be happy and make your own choices or are you going to let someone else's beliefs kind of crush your life and not be able to do stuff just because they think it's wrong? So, I mean, you got to figure out what's right and what's wrong for you. I mean, everyone believes different things um everyone has different beliefs and honestly i feel like beliefs are what separates all of us um like i said sometimes people will judge or will push on their beliefs just because they don't understand what what that idea is or what you're going through or um whatnot so they try to push and push and they think they're so right and so right and whatnot so um and that's why we're all bumping heads in a way. Um, so my tip really, truly, and deeply inside is just do what makes you happy. Do what's going to um, give you the best life. Um, if you think stripping is for you, then do it. I mean, stripping isn't for everybody. I think I've said in my other videos that stripping is easy. It can be easy, but it's very cutthroat because you have to, you have to, have to, have to have a strong backbone. You have to put your foot down when you need to. So you have to be strong and you have to do all this and that. So, I mean, like I said, it's just really up to you. And um, my mom, like I said, she doesn't know and I know it would crush her. But you know what? I would not stop doing this if she if she was the one telling me not to do it. I mean, I did so many things growing up that they weren't okay with, but you know what? I turned out fine and I feel like I have a good mindset and as long as I'm taking care of myself and as long as I'm being, you know, secure and protecting myself and always trying to look out for what I can kind of protect myself from, you know, the negativity or like the the bad parts of the strip club. You know, if you don't give in to all that, there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, you just have to be mentally strong and kind of like, you know, be yourself and make yourself strong. That way you can go through whatever you have to go through. Um, 
I'm sorry if this didn't make sense, but like I said, this is basically from my experience, my stories, and I don't expect you guys to agree with everything I say. This is all just my point of view. Um, I'm just here to share my stories with you guys. Uh, I really hope you guys like my video and comment below if you have about the same situation. I want to hear what you guys have been going through, what you, ha you guys have gone through, how you guys dealt with it, and if we're in the similar page. I hope everything works out for you. Um, and yeah, <laughs> this was a really, really touching subject for me because I hear you completely. This is just, um, that's really, really, really close to my situation. So, like I said, I hope you guys like my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Um, hopefully, I'll start making more stripper videos and I'll get to every one of your questions. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you on my next video.